So it appears an unknown vandal uh, has damaged one of Betsy DeVos's $40 million yachts. Uh, now, according to the Huron Police Department, uh, an unknown person decided they would untie, they would unmoor the yacht and just let it go free as it was sitting uh, in Huron, Ohio. Uh, now, this happened the past weekend, so uh, that's... We're just finding out about it, uh, apparently, or it is just trending. Uh, now, this vessel, which is worth, as I said before, $40 million, uh, was uh, unmoored and ended up crashing into the dock. Now, the yacht called Sequest is one of 10 yachts owned by the DeVos family, and it sustained between $5,000 and $10,000 worth of damage in scrapes and scratches. <gasps> oh, my God. Somebody scratched Betsy DeVos's $40 million yacht. Whatever is she going to do? I know. Poor, poor, poor woman. Look, I, I know. People are freaking, about, freaking out about the untying of the yacht because, look, that is vandalism, and I'm not in favor of that, and yada, yada, all that stuff. That said, I'm not exactly upset about it and really the main focus of the story for me is that this is just one of 10 yachts that the DeVos family owns worth 40 million dollars now look I don't know if all of her the, their yachts are worth 40 million dollars but say they were that would be 400 million dollars spent on boats 40 million dollars I'm sorry, four hundred million dollars, something half a billion dollars, on a on on a bunch of yachts. How many yachts does a family freaking need? And look, the reason that I say that is because look, while she's you know sailing around in your freaking yacht, we have people with student loans that are being crushed, right? Stu like people that have gone to college on the promise of getting a good job. And look, or a good paying job, wages have stagnated. Uh, and so, you know, they're working at these jobs that maybe they're overqualified for or not in their field or they don't pay enough and they're getting crushed by the payments. Look, again, I just mentioned wage, stag wage stagnation, right? Um, I, most recent statistics showed that inflation actually wiped out any wage gains over the past year. So again, we are flat. Wages are flat. Working people's paychecks are basically stagnant while healthcare uh, continues to increase in price. Education increase, uh, increases in price. Food, gas, all that stuff. All this while Betsy DeVos has a freaking yacht. There's some problems here. Okay. But this is, this is America. Now, that said, that's not the only issue to have with Betsy DeVos, of course. The fact that she's obscenely wealthy and doesn't seem to hold, do a whole lot with it. Uh, she's also directly responsible for slashing student debt relief, you know, for those students that do have these student, loan, uh, student loans out there that they can't, really can't afford. Uh, rolling back rules designed to help students defrauded by colleges. So, for example, you had a bunch of, uh, like, Corinthian colleges, and you had Trump University and things like that, basically defrauding students. Uh, and they've got these enormous loans that they still have to pay back, even though they were defrauded. They were given a fraudulent education. The Obama administration came back, and they're like, okay, well, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to allow you to get your student loan forgiven. Now, that still, of course, costs you because that counts as income on taxes and things like that. So students still have to pay. Nonetheless, at least they're not paying a student loan for the next 20, 30 years. So there is some positive. The Obama administration did try to address the, the situation with those for-profit colleges. Uh, and Betsy DeVos, as soon as she gets in, she says, nope, here's what we're going to do. We're going to not do that. My friends in the for-profit college industry, well, they're losing money. So how about we, how about we not do that? I, it's your fault you got that loan. <laughs> your fault you got defrauded. I mean, it's not our fault. It's, it's not our responsibility, I should say, to cover for your mistake. 
No, screw these students. Mm. Not only that, but she's also rolled back protections for transgender unit uh, students uh, and directed funds away from public schools, which, of course, she wants to go and shovel into for-profit charter schools. That's the real damage that's being done because of Betsy DeVos. So I'm sorry if I'm not sad about her yacht getting scratched up, having a little bit of damage. Because the damage that she's doing to our education system, to our country, is worth far more than a yacht. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.